Yes, we are. Happy Friday, everybody. How are you? I don't think anyone's going to join us today. That's it. Everyone's going to be out shopping at pubs today, I think. Yeah, or in the garden, in even the garden. though, because it's sunny now. <laughs> so I might have to just talk to ourselves. We'll just have a chat. That's fine. Amy and I'll have a chat. <laughs> if you are watching, do say hello. It's always lovely to catch up with you on a Friday. I'm going to scroll down and see if anybody's there. Anybody here? Oh, that's last week. That's not this week. Oh, there we go. There we are. There we are. So, yeah, do say hello if you're watching. It's always nice to catch up with you on a Friday. Let me know what you've been up to. If you've been out shopping this week, anyone brave the shops or the pub or anything like that? We actually went, we did, did go for, to the pub on Tuesday in Victoria. There's a lovely pub up the road in Midhurst that has an outside area, isn't there? And we, it was yeah. so nice. We had to book a table. Um, hi, Marilyn. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. Oh, hi, Marilyn. How are you? Oh, Angie's here on Instagram. Oh, hi, Angie. Thank you. Angie was here with us this morning. Uh, so, oh, thank you for joining us. That's very good. Uh, but yeah, I haven't done any shops yet. Hi, Jilly. Thanks for joining us this week. Hi, it's Jilly. nice to see you. Um, and Jill Emsworth. Happy Friday, Jill. Hi, Jill. Uh, yes, we, so we have been for a little drink, which was lovely. Very nice. And yeah, because it's all you have to book, it doesn't feel too busy. It's very well organised. Joe's here on Insta. Oh, hi, Joe. Hi, Helen. Oh, Helen's here on Facebook. Hello, hello. Oh, lovely. Thank you for thank you for joining us today. We had to just close the window. She was a little bit noisy with the window open. We have had the window open. Um, so, oh, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to see you. We've had a really lovely week this week. We had we did three. We've done loads of sew alongs, but we did a sew so couture skirt sew along on Tuesday, and then we on Wednesday and Thursday we made the ruffle dress. Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Hi Suzanne. Thank you. Hi Fiona. How are you? How's that puppy? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Fiona. We well, sorted your order out, Fiona. Thanks for that. Uh, Amy, Amy sorted it all out. Now. It's all ready. It's all organised. Um, yeah. So we did this. This is the Till the Sun Goes Down summer ruffle dress, which we made in the sew along on Wednesday and Thursday this week. Jo says she's top stitching. Oh, hi, Justin. Yes, it's Friday already. I can't believe it. Oh, hi, Sally. It. Sally loves your hi, dress. Hi, Sally. Thank you. Wait to see Amy's in a minute as well. We've, we've been twinning today. We're twinning today. But uh, yes, love this dress so much. It's so pretty. Can you see the frill if you stand up? Uh, I don't know. No one's asked me to stand up, so I was waiting. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I, I am Suzanne. Yeah, I've got mine on yeah, too. Yeah, she is. There we go. So Hi, that's Claire. the summer wrap. So it wraps, it's a wrap dress. So it wraps over. And it's got a really pretty um, ruffle. We did, the, we did the hems on the ruffles on um, on the rolled hem on the overlocker. Oh, thank you. It is. I feel very summery today. Feeling summery. Wearing a bit of silk. Claire's silk cutting out her Carolyn pajamas. Are you? Gosh, you're going to be ahead of me. So I'm many pieces. There are a lot of pieces. Thank you. The fabric I've got. The fabric I've got is a uh, till the sun goes down uh, silk crepe de chine which um, actually a lady, a, a student of mine from a long time ago, um, she gave me this fabric and I hadn't found the right dress, the right thing to make with it. So this was the perfect dress and I was a bit short of it. And luckily Victoria has some of the Till the Sun Goes Down fabric. So I went and bought an extra little bit so that I could um, make this dress. And it's a lovely silk crepe machine, so it feels so nice and it's perfect for the ruffles. Thank you, Fiona. So yeah, till the sun goes down, summer ruffle dress. There's two. There's two options on the pattern. Actually, you can make it as a wrap, or as a just a straight a straight dress with a ruffle on the bottom. Oh, just the pattern. Claire's oh. just cutting out the pattern. Oh, not too <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of patterns for pieces for those uh, pajamas, uh, Claire, because they give you all bits for the um, for the interfacing and everything. So. Oh, hi, Angela. Oh, hi, Angela. The wrap ruffle. Yeah, this the is. Sun this is yeah. the one you were asking about, Angela. This is the summer ruffle dress. I think you'll love it. And there's this is the wrap version, but there is the straight version as well. It's so flattering. Yeah, really lovely. And I made. I actually put interfacing in the tie because the tie uh, I felt would just disappear in this fabric uh, into a little, you know, just cut me up. So I put interfacing in the tie. Uh, it's got binding around the neck. Amy did her neckline slightly differently, so you'll see that in a sec. Um, and I hand stitched my binding because it was silk, I just thought I should. Uh, so yeah, so it's lovely. I'm looking forward to wearing it out as well as in. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you. It's nice to get dressed up, isn't it? It is. Looking forward to doing more of this, dressing up. I can't wait to get dressed mm. up. I was saying today, I can't wait to put heels on again. I know, I don't want to let you know what I've got on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's seen our feet no, for months. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying this week though, we'll have to start putting shoes on because people now see us coming into work. 
because the car park's full of people now, yeah, so we have to start busier. wearing shoes. Much busier in Midhurst now. It's much busier, yes. Yeah. So we did, we did this on Thursday and Wednesday and Thursday, and then on Wednesday, we had lots of new ones this week. Wednesday night, we also did the um, start of the Sunday pattern, which is from Merchant and Mills. It's like a dressing gown. Um, oh, yes, Fiona. Now your fabric's arrived, you'll be able to make it, won't you? This is Fiona. Fiona's on the, on the sewing, obviously, but her fabric hadn't arrived, so she only made a 12. So that was a good start, though. So yeah, we started the Sunday pattern. Um, which is a dressing gown. So we had lots of discussions about it. It was a very simple pattern, but we decided to do things like Hong Kong binding and all fancy things to fancy up it. Janet says you look lovely. Oh, Colour's wonderful you. on you. Thank you. Claire said, will your heels fit? Her shoes seem to have shrunk. I have been practising. I'm a bit scared. Yeah, I've been practising in some. Um, thank you, Phil. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Aren't the sleeves pretty? I'm very pleased. Very pleased with the sleeves. And all rolled him on the overlocker. So then on Thursday night, we finished the Harleen Dungarees, another March and the Mills pattern. And you can see Amy's here behind me. Um, Amy made hers in a viscose and she put elastic around the bottom as well. So mm -hmm. Amy was quick and got hers finished. So, Hello, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> um, so she I'm going to wear mine with heels. Amy's going to wear hers with heels. I made mine out of silk. I still want a bit of finishing off to do on mine. So I might wear those at some point on a sew along, you never know. But we did decide we got to wear t-shirts and be mummy when people were wearing their straw hats on Thursday night. So that was quite good fun. <laughs> and talking about jumping off piers in Greece. You know, I've done Greece. So yeah, that was a fun workshop and I, I'd like to carry it on a bit longer really because it was really good fun. But anyway, we will get, we'll get them finished. And then on so this morning we did a, a tutorial, a so, so long on sewing machine feet. So we looked at lots of different feet. I think we did just over 20. Hi Debbie. Hi Debbie. Um, yeah, definitely was in the class this morning. Thank you, Suzanne. Aren't they gorgeous, Suzanne? Really yeah, lovely. Yeah, lovely colour. And it's actually a stretch viscose. So it's like 97% viscose, 3% mm. stretch. It's from Bloomsbury. It also comes in cerise pink, that fabric. It does. Yeah, it's lovely. They fit really well. Yeah. Because sometimes, as we know, much of those patterns are quite oversized. So we really thought about sizing down what you wanted on your body not just going with the, the size that you think you have to look at the finished garment measurements and decide whether you want them to be big and baggy or quite fitted and only wanted hers more fitted didn't mm, you yeah and they fit perfectly actually really nice really well really nice. same with the denim skirt actually yes. they come in really nicely at the back mm, yeah so because i've got a slightly sway back and it shapes in really mm. beautifully yeah it does it's a really lovely fabric to work with wasn't it yeah as well and that pattern was such fun to make the harley so dungarees fun. if you want them Fancy making a pair of dungarees for no reason particularly, then you just want to make a pair of dungarees. Um, but the pattern is such good fun to make. Lots of it all goes together really well. Lots of detail, top stitching. Very good instructions as well. Yeah, and really good instructions. Follow them step by step. Lots of odd shaped pieces. So just take one bit at a time. Oh, Suzanne's on with some more feet. Series <laughs> pink. I'll have to look at it. Yeah, do. That would suit. It's me. the only two viscoses that she has in plain colour. Is yeah. that green and pink at the moment? And it's got some stretch to it, yeah. Thank you, Debbie. This it's a, I love this colour and it's got a bit of grey in it, so what's not to love? It's got a <laughs> bit of grey. So I'm going to grey shoes with it. Look forward to seeing them on, Amy. Yeah, I might wear them next week. I need mm. to make a, a decent, I thought a boat neck t-shirt to go mm. underneath or something. So I just need to make a couple of undergarments. Yeah, <laughs> really lovely. Did I miss you standing up, <laughs> like I said? Yes. I did, you get. I stand up again. <laughs> The other good thing about this dress is it's got pockets. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. So it's really pretty. It's got a belt. It's a full wrap, so you haven't got to worry. What's quite nice is the feet. I'll stand back a bit. There we go. So the, the ruffle comes up the front there. So and it does do a full wrap. So no exposure. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Margaret. Oh, we really like good. we like getting our up and down. Yeah, just up and down. <laughs> there we go. But it's lovely. It feels so nice you're wearing a floaty dress. So yeah, busy week for us. And then of course we've got our um, us live now. So that's great. Oh yeah, I think only mine had pockets. Wendy was doing pockets, Suzanne. Everyone else chickened out on the pockets. Yeah, I didn't do pockets. I'm glad that I didn't in mine, but that's because my fabric's quite clingy. Mm. Yeah, I thought I would do it. I think maybe did one other person do pockets? Anyway, but yeah, everyone else was like, no pockets. <laughs> uh, Claire's saying, could I use poly cotton binding on a viscose fabric? I haven't got enough of the viscose to Just make. Just for the pajamas, Claire. Yes, you could. 
yeah poly cotton binding is perfect for that be absolutely fine or you could use i have a jersey binding which is a bit softer if you want to say a bit softer there's a, a nice jersey binding which would work more of a similar texture what do you think Ames? the jersey binding is similar yeah, texture to yeah because it's a bit thicker yeah you used that on the binding of your dress, i used actually. it on the binding of this dress yeah and it's worked very well because yeah. it was a similar weight oh thank you fiona fiona's gonna put pockets in her dress <laughs> oh it's for a scout tee Oh, so it's a viscose jersey, Claire, are you say. No, Scout T is actually for a woven, I think. Isn't oh, is it? it? Yeah. So, yeah. Janet, Janet said I did pockets on my hospital gown. <laughs> <laughs> Janet wasn't so That's because it was made in sheeting, though. I think if you make it in the silk, Janet, it won't be like a hospital gown. Really. No. It'd be perfect. Everyone's loving the colour. Oh, that's actually a bit more brighter colours, more often. I think you should. Less grey, more colour. You can wear bright colours with grey in them. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Mine's got grey in it. I love this fabric. The, the lovely lady called Anne Roberts gave me this fabric, so it's really nice to be able to use it. Fine, and, and it's because the fabric's from Till the Sun Goes Down. It had to be a Till the Sun Goes Down pattern, didn't it? So I'm really pleased with it. So what have we got next week? Next week we're continuing our couture skirt. So there was lots of tacking and trace tacking and marking up done this week, and we are starting the utility coat on Tuesday evening. <laughs> so Amy will be excited about that. I am because mine is going to be in silk organza. Yeah. A silk organza parka. Yeah, mine's going to be a waterproof fabric because I need a summer waterproof jacket, but Amy's going to make hers in silk organza. I'm excited to look at Frances's blog posts mm. about the different hemlines and things. Yes, yeah, so I was talking to Frances last week because she's uh, very kindly been putting our sew alongs in her newsletter. And uh, there is an update for the utility coat where you can make it with a sort of like a parka type back and put elastic through and a different waistline. So we'll be talking about that on Tuesday on the work on the sew along. And we've got the Southport dress on Wednesday and Thursday, haven't we, I think? Yes, we, we have. I'm excited about that one too. Wednesday and Thursday, Southport dress. Wednesday evening, continuing the Sunday pattern. Thursday, we start the Caroline pyjamas. Hooray! Which will be lovely. So lots of piping and, yeah, that'll be fun. And then I'm afraid there's no Friday morning class because I'm getting my nails done. <laughs> I just remembered. So, yeah, no Friday morning class next week because, yes, my nails will be sorted out and everything. I'm just... Doing the class this morning, I've been having to show the feet to the camera. You notice how bad they are. So anyway, so that's that's next week. And I've been keeping an eye on what you've all been up to this week. Suzanne put some pictures of her finished garments, things she's been making in the sew-alongs. Um, so uh, things like the shirt dress and the revere, the revere blouse. Really lovely, Suzanne. Fantastic. And uh, Justine's been very busy. Justine made a, a fantastic pair of jeans from a, a, block, a printed fabric. And it's all about getting the print nicely down the sides and on the pockets. And then she's made an amazing corset. So Justine did my corset class a couple of years ago, I think it was, must have, well, probably more than that actually. And uh, made a corset here, we made the very basic corset and she's taken it to the next level. Made a fantastic, um, fantastic uh, corset and a matching skirt with some beautiful fabric from Ditto which I think that's the fabric that there was the waistcoat for, that the Duke wore in Britain, Bridgerton. It was. Yeah, it looked fantastic. So yeah, Justin's been very busy. Janet says she's just finished taping the Southport pattern together. Oh, did you get a PDF, Janet? <laughs> that's a nice project all in itself, isn't it? Just taping patterns together. It was amazing, wasn't it, Barbara? You'll be doing corsets next year, though. You're hooked on that one, I think, aren't you, for next year? We can all play about making corsets. Else. Um, Sally put some lovely pictures of her granddaughters up wearing all the things she's been making for them. They were such lovely pictures. So really lovely to see those. And Margaret's lovely finished garments. Well done, Margaret. Your denim jacket and that whole combination, all those things, they really went well together, didn't they? The draped front top and your jeans. Good use of a selfie stick. Yeah, good use of a selfie stick, yes. <laughs> <laughs> really great. I know we all have to get better at that, don't we, doing selfies. And, uh, and then Cynthia put up um, a fantastic video. Cynthia is a trustee for um, Trinity Wharf, Trinity Boy Wharf, which is where the sewing bee was filmed this year, and uh, put a fantastic picture up of uh, that video up on the Midnight Sewers of uh, everything that goes on at um, Trinity Wharf. So if you want to have a, know a bit more about the background of that fantastic building, have a look at Cynthia's video. Thanks for posting that, Cynthia. Really great, really, really good. So, yeah, so we've had a really lovely week this week. Janet said it's very meditative. It is. I find that sticking yeah. patterns together. Yeah, every now and then. Like it's mindful. Quite nice. 
It is, isn't it? You've got some fancy stickers. I have got one, yeah, because Mm. Mood in New York have a whole catalogue of free patterns, but Mm. they are only PDF A4. (laughs) Yeah, so we'll be trying some of their free patterns out. Yeah. Amy's got some other free patterns. She'll talk to you about those when she comes in, actually, some other patterns to talk about. Oh, hi, Tim. So that's the other news we've got this week. Thank you very much. Thank you. So the lovely Tim and Sue popped in today because Tim is the gentleman who makes our wooden pressing tools for us. So we now have wooden pressing tools back in stock. Thank Yay. you, Tim. Lovely to see you both today. Glad you made it back in time to so see anybody us. Anybody that had one on back order, expect it yes. in the next few days. Yeah, any older back orders are going out today, So, but we still have a couple of small clappers in stock. Yeah, I think there's only three <laughs> left now. So yeah. Tim, we might have to get you making some more small clappers. <laughs> But yeah, so wooden pressing tools are now back in stock and on the website. So that's fantastic news. That's on my news, <laughs> sewing news <laughs> section. Ruth is here on Instagram. Oh, hi, she Ruth. says, hi ladies, just got back from the hairdressers. <gasps> oh, you lucky thing. I couldn't get one till June. Mine's a week on Monday. And I couldn't get a nail appointment till May. <laughs> I'm booked. This week. I'm booked in. That's why mine's tied up, because it's just so heavy. I just have to tie it up, get it out of the way. <laughs> All over my face today. So yeah, what else has been going on? Oh, the worst has been going on. What did, well, we, do, what did we do on Wednesday evening? What else so is on going on? On Wednesday evening, we were teaching the sewing, we were doing the sewing long to half past eight, and of course the sewing bee started on Wednesday night. And uh, so we wouldn't, we wouldn't get home in time for the sewing bee, because it uh, takes half an hour to get home. So we decided to set up our little home cinema here at the sewing room and watch it here, which was re- worked really well, actually. It was great, projector on the wall. Projector, yeah. Really good. It was really good. And what did you think of it then? Uh, if you're getting voices duplicated, it could be because you've got. Have you got two devices on? You need to mute one of your devices. Is that right, Ace? Um, you're getting duplicated voices. I don't know. Or otherwise, you might have to log out and log back in again. Yeah. That, that good old staple of IT. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off and turn it on again. Turn it off and turn it on again. <laughs> hi Nan. Oh hi Mum, how are you? Are you enjoying the sunshine? Thanks for coming in out the garden. I bet you were in the garden, weren't you? Came in to see us. <laughs> dedication. Yeah, dedication. Thanks, Mum. Um yeah, so what did you think of the sewing bee? Let's have a chat about sewing bee, shall we? Maggie. Oh, Maggie wants a twirl. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go, another twirl. Maggie was on the workshop this week as well, so Maggie was making her ruffle dress out of I turn right round. Right right round out of um Maggie was making her dress out of chiffon. So very brave making her dress out of chiffon. Oh yeah, they had it open on two pages. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting quite good at IT stuff as well. How's it go? How's it going, Maggie? How's your dress going? Because Maggie was it was quite difficult making it in chiffon, and I know Maggie was this bit here was quite quite a challenge in a thin fabric, wasn't it? But I bet it looks beautiful. So Maggie's dress is to wear over a slip or maybe over a bikini if you ever get on holidays. So yeah, I love it. That's what my tunic's for. It's yes. only ever going to be worn over a bikini. Yeah, this is the other very dress. Very holy. You may have seen this on Instagram. This is Amy's um, tunic, but you'll see why she hasn't tried it on. Because look, you can see. Like <laughs> Only over a bikini. Such. Oh, yes, yeah, Suzanne, we agree. The, the worst thing about the sewing we've seen those lovely ladies really upset. Yeah, that upset it us. It was really upsetting. It's not what we sew for, is it? We don't sew to get upset. Um, and I think any one, any one of us who we, we sew to be mindful, enjoy it, and uh, oh, it makes me quite emotional. Those poor ladies. But yeah, really interesting group, wasn't there? Some real. Very. It's always difficult at the beginning. Um, it's always difficult at the minute there's so many people, isn't there? But there was a, still a few standout people, weren't there? Yeah, I so think. we had. Um, so it was wardrobe staples. Yeah, the first challenge. What do we think of that? The shell so, top. The shell top on the pattern challenge. So Serena mm. won that, the youngest contestant. Yeah, she's really young, wasn't she? Yeah, she, she did really well. She's fantastic. I quite like that little shell top, and there were some interesting techniques, weren't there, on that one? So oh, Cynthia's here. She Hi, says Cynthia. she's ordered several new machine feet after this morning. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed it. That the little trip through machine feet. Yeah, she's very impressive, isn't she, Claire? The young girl, 21 year old, and Serena, wasn't it? Serena. Serena. Yeah. It's difficult to remember all their names at the beginning, isn't it? But it's so exciting. Ten weeks we're going to have it for as well. Yeah, very Ten excited weeks. about that. Ten weeks. We've only got five more lives. What are we going to do? I know. Well. Discussions on continuing lives. We are. 
Yeah, Tim and Suzanne both, both were good. Both were good. Yeah, the other, yeah. Le- the other girl was called Rebecca. Yeah, they were both really good, weren't they? Margaret saying a shell top so along. I think it might be quite nice. If, actually, if you go onto the fold line, we'll have a little look at that um, during the week. It would be quite nice to make a little shell top, wouldn't it? The um, the fold line off for every sewing bee, they, they do a little sort of detective work and find patterns that match the, that, that sort of suit the, the uh, um, sewing bee challenges. And they have got a few options for the uh, shell top. So have a look on the fold line that they're, they're they always try and detectives. figure out what the challenge three ones are as yes, well. They yeah. try and figure out which pattern each contestant mm. used. Yes, yeah, so if everyone would like me to do a, a shell top sew along, it'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? It's lots of techniques in a shell top. <laughs> that facing is very good. There's a way of doing that facing. That way, the way they did it was really nice. Or there's a way of doing it with a burrito from the side, which is really nice as well. So. There's a free pattern from SoMag, Margaret says. Well, I did follow that link, you know. I followed that link to SoMag and I couldn't find the free pattern, but I might have another look. So, um, oh yeah, so Cynthia said, I liked the buffet dress idea, never heard it called that before. No, Jill and said Jill the said, same thing. Never heard. Never we heard hadn't either. We looked at each other going, dress. what is a buffet What's dress? a buffet dress? In my head, I was thinking some take on a cocktail dress or something. Yeah. But no, it's so you can eat as much as you want at the buffet. Yeah. And, not, <laughs> and nobody knows. Perfect. I think that's great. Perfect, Perfect for bloaty stomachs. Yeah, so when you think of things like the Wild Address by... Uh, True Bias. True Bias. True Bias. Well, there's a few different ones that we even know about. Now we know what a buffet dress is. It's the tears, yeah, isn't it? It's the, it's tears, the tears, I think. So it's sort of a fairly un- unstructured dress with tears. It's so, full body with gathers, Patrick said. Oh, there we with go. With gathered tears. Yes, isn't it great yeah, to see Patrick back on the TV? <laughs> with a haircut. With a haircut. I have to say, the transformation challenge was hilarious when he got the giggles. He did get the giggles, didn't he? Did anyone else get that the giggles? That was so funny. The... the the cats on the t-shirt. <laughs> I think we have to call them cats, don't yes. we? The cats on the t-shirt. <laughs> oh, Tim and Sue said I hadn't heard. Who's heard of a buffet dress? It's going to be the regular name now. Isn't he it? also got the giggles with the red triangle in those tri- in those trousers. Yes, they were the that most flattering. That was very were funny. They? <laughs> Talking of buffet dress, I did see a lovely new pattern today by um, So Lardy Del Vintage. She's doing some new patterns based on um, Stevie Nicks. And she, her new dress, actually, that would be a lovely one to make. I think we might have to think about doing that. Cynthia said, I thought it was going to be a vampire slayer thing. Or like Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> Buffy, not Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> Janet said she was laughing out loud. <laughs> so funny. He was more relaxed, wasn't he, Sally, saying that Pat was much more relaxed this time? And he seemed to be having fun. Yeah, he yeah. did, didn't he? Even though I think even Esme six. seemed more relaxed this I time. I think that's because be of Joe. Maybe, because yeah. Joe is such good fun, He's isn't great. He? He's, he's so funny. really great with the contestants and, yeah. He's very funny It indeed. was really I good. I liked his little bee necklace. Mm. Joe's bee necklace. We'll have to see. I think yes. you can get some of those. I hope we can find those. Yeah. I thought that the uh, the chap who won the, um, the Transformation Challenge was Andrew, uh, Andrew wasn't it? Um, and uh, his dress was really cool, wasn't it? I thought it was quite sort yeah. of funky. And, yeah, that was and he great. designs stained glass windows. So I think ah. that's why he did all those sort of applique bits yeah. and stuff. But yeah, that was very good. Mm. Buffet dress would be handy for changing at the beach, Claire said. It yeah. Would, it? It Perfect, would. Claire. It reminds you of those things, you know, with your mum standing around you with a towel. As long as it's not embroidered on glaze. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wasn't Joe lovely with the ladies who got upset? He was really good, wasn't he? And it was nice to see them all helping out each other again, wasn't it? Because we know that everyone on the service is lovely, don't we? Everyone yeah. On the service are really nice people. So of the uh, made to measure, the, of the buffet dresses, what was everyone's favourites? Ours actually was Raph's. Yeah, yeah, ours Raph's was Raph's dress. Boy, long glaze, like... And that's the first dress he's ever made. Yeah. And he dyed all that fat. It just looked amazing. It was so chic. And I think Esme, Esme said sexy, didn't she? Yeah. It really was. He, he works with textiles, doesn't he? In he's the a theater. textile designer. Yeah, in the theatre. But he's uh, quite different. Quite yeah. a different approach. But there were some lovely ones, weren't they? I mean, but, and things that stood out, like the, the all those loops on the front of the other dress. Was, Adina oh, did Honestly, that. she did a fantastic job with that. Oh, Bonnie's here on Instagram. Bonnie! The lovely Bonnie has just signed up. Thank you for your order today, Bonnie. Yes, Bonnie's coming on our couture retreat next year. We're so excited, Bonnie. All the way from the USA. So, yeah, thanks, Bonnie. We're just talking about the sewing bee, which unfortunately I don't think you can get. 
out in the US, can you? But a uh, new series just started this week, so we're all a little bit excited. Jackie said, yeah, Raps was beautiful. You know the other one I really liked was Adam. You know the guy who works on the cruise ships, and he did the one yes. with the split sleeve. Yeah, and all they all Esme said was just bring the split a mm. little bit further down, which we thought was yes, right. But I think that's covering up the top of your arm is lovely, but this part of your arm can be really nice, can't it? So Oh, a sip of the pants in time. What brought you on ways with tears? That's the trouble, but yeah, we need to um we need to up our game on the tear mm. first as I was thinking that. Mark did well with the chiffon too. Bonnie can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that was lovely, that one. Yeah, I really loved that. I think he's going to be good. Mm. I'm excited to see what he does. Um, yeah. Oh, Laratu, she added pockets to hers. Yes, see, pockets make all the difference, doesn't it? See, I've got pockets in mine. Yeah. I, I really liked what she said. It's been posted a few times on Instagram. Was it? Yeah, I like my body and I make clothes to fit me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was exactly. really good. Yeah. She's being championed a bit. Sorry, Adam, I did think that was really exactly. I was thinking, who's yeah. Mark? Yeah, that was he's very similar to Mark, I think, yeah. from last year. Did split sheep. Um, but I yeah, and then those. poor Farry and Julie didn't finish. Mm. Oh, yeah, it was such a shame. I did feel sorry for them. Yeah, and Suzanne I really liked Julie. Julie was the lady who was the um, she was the burlesque dancer, wasn't she? Yeah. So I think she'd have done some great things coming up. We were saying it was a shame actually that Damien pulled it out of the bag in the last challenge because <laughs> we yes. think he should have gone home really. Yes. After his attitude. Calm, yes, I hope he'll calm down a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. We weren't keen on his attitude in the first challenge. No. Like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, we really enjoyed it. Yeah. We really enjoyed it. Well, the other one we've noticed, Serena, the young girl, she made a dress and styled on Villanelle, but they didn't mm. show much of the back, but it had like a tie in the back. Oh, that's right. Her it did, buffet didn't dress. It? When, yes. Yeah, you got one little glimpse of it. Yeah. I want to go back and look at that, actually. Mm. Because that looked really beautiful. Mm. Yes, he Jackie definitely dodged a bullet. bullet. He was yeah. too smart. Oh, I'm glad you agree, because we were trying to be polite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because it was just us. <laughs> Quite slapdash. Yeah, good. I'm glad everyone caught that. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, he did pull it out of the bag. That, that final dress was really well made and it did fit really well, didn't it? Did it did fit so. impeccably, actually. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe he'll calm down a little bit and just do some really good sewing. Yeah. And we th I was trying to work out, we were trying to work out, they were given five hours for that last challenge, which was not really not very long. Um, but it, was, it still seemed a bit longer than the previous challenges. So. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I'm not mm. sure. But I have in my head that they were only given sort of five, six hours in the final, yeah. usually. Well, our sew alongs are five hour days, aren't they? And yeah. this dress took two two days to make and we still had bits to finish. So five hours to make that dress was really... And to cut it out to cut it as out, well. Yeah, they, well they, were, they weren't really cut out, were they? No, they can't have been because it was made no. to measure. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad you read my misspelled comments properly. Oh yes, no yes, problem, sorry, Suzanne. I'm quite good at autocorrect <laughs> mistakes now. After toilet coming up so many times and people are trying to say twelve. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when everyone's sort of watching and chatting, so that happens yeah, quite a bit, doesn't it? Does. It? it does happen quite a bit. So yes, yeah, so now we're looking forward to next week. And the challenge they've always said the challenge for next week is gonna be summary, isn't it? Beach bar dresses. Summer week. And yeah, beach they're doing paper bag shorts. Uh, see, I'm, never, I'm not very keen on paper bag trousers and shorts, but that just might be my figure. I really want to try them because mm. they're really fashionable. Yeah, Sue and Tim are saying that just doing those gathers on that buffet dress That's where Farry and Julie yeah. fell short, wasn't it? They spent a long time on the tops and then didn't realize how long the skirt's going to take. Yeah. Um, you can do gathers on the overlocker, but I mean, you know, you've still got to make it the right size, you've got to pull it out. So. Um, so yeah, next week should be good. And then what do you think of beach, beach bag, um, so paper bag shorts, what do you think of that style? I'm not a big fan, but uh, maybe let's go more younger, Amy's age group. Rather than well, yeah, mine. but I don't know because I've got quite a large behind, so I don't know if it accentuates so that. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think on the beach, they've got wide legs as well, probably. Yeah. So there. We'll yeah, see. So we'll see. And then they're going to do a nice button down dress, like a shirt dress. So we were saying this morning that maybe they'll do, um, I was showing how to sew buttons on the sewing machine this morning, so we were wondering if they're going to do that, you know, sew on buttons with the sewing machine, try and no, do some Sue's shortcuts. Not keen. No. Ruth says she thinks maybe the timings have something to do with the bubbles, like the COVID and the crew. Oh, maybe. maybe that's why they're extending yeah, it a little bit. Yeah, giving them a bit more time. Sally said paperback shorts for the young only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not for me. 
<laughs> but it'll be interesting to see because there are all age groups on the sewing bee, aren't what there? What about so paper bag trousers though? What if you made them into like a nice wide leg with yeah, maybe just braids? This Bit here. Too I'm much around there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'd be interested to see because there are all age groups on the sewing bee, so I'd be interested to see what they look like. Although they're making for models, won't, aren't they? Well, I don't know which one they are. I think the paper bag might be the pattern challenge. Oh, it might be, mightn't it? Beach yeah. bar dress sounds like something that they mm. do in a transformation. Yeah. And then button down dress would be, be the, the, pa- the, uh, the made, made to measure. measure. Mm. It might be the other way around, but I think yeah. paper bag shorts sounds like a pattern challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, here, Sally. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps we should start a new phrase. Older people wearing paper bag shorts. It depends on the fabric as well. There's lots of there's lots of things that could make them look better. If you had a sort of fine fabric. Yeah, and, crepe. Yeah, and just wear them over a swimsuit. I did see a pattern the other day for them and thought, oh, mm. that looks nice. But mm. I just don't know. Yes. Well, we'll see. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to next week, and we'll be while we're still doing so long in the evenings, we'll carry on watching it here. Uh, on our big screen, which is quite nice. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll do some film events. When we can do, um, when we can do events here, people can come back here. Maybe we'll do some film nights. Have a cinema night. Yeah, which would be fun. Anything when we can all get together, it's going to be lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So you may have missed Amy's poll this week. You're going to mention your poll. Oh yeah. yeah so after last week, we were thinking how lovely it'd be to get together. Amy thought had we on the, on the next day when we were driving home. Said uh, I think we should have a garden party. <laughs> Let's find out what everyone else thinks. Let's see what everyone else thinks, and it was a resounding. Yeah, it sounds like you're all very keen. So we're going to start planning that properly now that we know that you'd like to come. So look out. For we have our... picked the date. Oh yes, we have. It's going to be the August. It's going to be the August date, mm. the seventh of August. That was the yes. overwhelming majority of people said they didn't mind the date. Only one person voted for July. Yeah. So um, everybody say August. August. So, so keep that date in mind. Yeah, and we'll. We'll uh, let you know more details near the time. Yeah. So it should be, it'd be fun just to get dressed up. We can all wear our ruffle dresses. Yeah. Have a garden party and get together. So thanks for your response on that, actually, everybody. That was really yeah. good. All have cocktails in person. Yes. Rather than <laughs> Janet's saying, do you know I what can they test call you paper all. bag shorts? <laughs> they're called paper bag shorts, I imagine, Janet, because the waistband comes, the, the top of the garment comes above the waist and, they, and then they're pulled in. My birthday, Sophie said. I we that, did think yes. that, Sophie. Yeah, Amy did the poll before I said, it's Sophie's birthday. Do you want to, <laughs> Sophie, you can come to our garden party for that. <laughs> yes, come to the garden party. <laughs> Sue and Tim say, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> It'll be such fun just to get together. Yeah, so we've tested out one venue already, and we think we quite like that one. Yeah, obviously. yeah. Just going to make some inquiries, and I'll get the... Uh, mm event details up yeah we've got, our, we've got to keep our event planner busy well exactly <laughs> so long's gonna be over soon what am i yeah, going to do with myself exactly and the, the, the retreats are all organized they are yes so i'm going to do a little demo we can carry on talking about the um about the same bee as we go through but i'm going to do a little demo today we were talking this week about about pockets uh and um something coming up this week we were talking about doing french scenes and and Amy said, oh, I can't do it was me. French scenes, I can't do French scenes so I've got pockets. And I said, well, you can do a French scene around a pocket. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. Was it for this dress? And then I decided not to do, what was it for? We decided not to do French scenes on this dress because of the split on the side and the pockets. It was all getting it, and we've only got limited time to do it on the sew along. It might be in the Southport dress. Are you putting pockets in that? Mm, yeah, but that's got, oh, it splits or in the front. was it the... Um, pajamas, it was. or was it the... <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what it was. It was the Sunday pattern because you're making it in silk. That's what it is. It was the Sunday And this pattern. is why I said, yes, please do that demo. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's why, that's why it came up because Amy's making the Sunday pattern, which is like a sort of robe or dressing gown. Um, and I'm making mine out of waffle, quite heavy fabric, so I'm going to do a patch pocket. Um, what's this one? Heather saying, rather late. Oh, that's okay. So, so Barbie, yeah, so she's got to gather her supplies. <laughs> so, looking forward to the gang being oh. all together again, even if we're shivering. Yes. Well, hopefully in August, we won't be shivering. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, so I thought it would be quite a good idea to show you. So, let me show you my little sample here. Oh, yeah, Cynthia said Sunday robe, yeah. Yeah, it's Sunday robe. So, yeah, so this is a, an inseam pocket. Uh, it's on calicos, but even so, you can see that I've done a French seam all the way around the um, the pocket. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not that difficult actually, but there you go. 
Sometimes you have to think these things through, don't you? Yeah, because you did try to explain it to me and then my brain went in the middle of the explanation. Yes, I thought I'd demo it and then you've got yeah. it on video forever. Exactly. So I have a pocket piece that I use. I've got a pattern piece. So if a pattern doesn't have a pocket, you can either pinch a pocket from another pattern or you know copy one out that you think would be quite nice. You can always just lay your pattern onto a piece of paper and draw around it. That's another option. So you're going to need... Um, is this table? Is it this wobbly? table that's wobbly? It's I keep the thinking it's wobbly. I don't know why. Maybe we need to adjust the legs. Maybe or one something. of the legs has gone wobbly. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to do one pocket. But obviously, if you were doing a garment, you'd need double this. So you need two pocket pieces, and then these are my two um, garment pieces. So you start off sewing your to sew your pocket pieces on, and you're going to do them a French seam on this bit as well. So this is going to be wrong sides together. So French seams always start wrong sides together. Wrong sides together. <laughs> it's the little mantra we have to it say when we're doing French together. seams. Wrong sides together. <laughs> so there we go. So you have a mirror image basically. So I'm going to just pull the sewing machine in. Excuse me while I just pull it in because it won't slide over my iron on that. Do you want to bring the ironing up this way? Uh, oh, I could do. That's true. Okay. That's a good idea. <laughs> Move the ironing mat. So yeah. French seams, wrong size together. The first, I always use my quarter inch foot. Ladies who did the, the uh, foot class this morning will know that I like to use a quarter inch foot for my French seams because it will do a half centimetre seam. But if you move the needle over to the left here, that second hole, you can do a one centimetre seam. And the first part of your French seam will be one centimetre. So. I move the needle all the way over to the left and obviously you would be pinning this and doing it all nicely I'm just gonna go for it make sure my I'm doing a one centimeter seam sometimes when you move the needle over the thread this looks cool through the hole I feel like I've done a little mini pocket, really, didn't I? He could have, yeah. We didn't pocket. need to do a full-size pocket. A full-size pocket. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it. If we're going to do it, let's do it properly. Oops. Dropped the phone. Sorry, yeah. everybody. So stitch your pocket piece to your garment, matching up any, any marks you've got. And stitch the whole length of the pocket piece with a one centimetre seam. So now we need to trim this, just this bit that we've stitched, to about an eighth of an inch or three millimetres. So snip in at the bottom of the pocket. To okay. the stitching? No, to about oh. an eighth of an inch. From the oh, stitching. sorry. So, so then you can then snip across, trim across to take this down to about an eighth of an inch or three millimetres. And then again, snip in at the top of your pocket. Can you grab me the other ones? These ones don't quite, quite cut to the end. Oh, there you go. Thank you. I think I must have snipped a pin or something with them. Oh, that's better. Look at that. Um, so okay. that's trimmed down. Let's do the other one. We need sharpening. We have to get all our scissors sharpened before we open. Oh, those ones are so much better. There we go. So we're going to snip about an eighth of an inch or three millimetres all the way up. And then snip in from the edge so you can just take that little bit away. Like that. So those bits are the trimmed off bits from those threads. And now we're going to um, turn this I'm going to give it a quick press because it is a little bit easier to press it. Press it flat. Sorry. My, <laughs> pressing, my pressing is shaking the camera. A violent pressing. <laughs> oh, Barbara's got to go to the opticians. Oh no, Sammy's saying the place where we get our scissors sharp has closed. Oh no, that's tragic. That is really tragic. We have to find a new one. permanently, Sally. That's no good. I wonder if there's one here. I wonder if the guy up the mid, the shoe repairers might do them. 
Yeah. Got to investigate. And tread there somewhere. So I'm going to put a couple of pins in this time. So now I'm turning my little piece through. I'm going to put a couple of pins in here. So I'm having the seam right on the edge, putting a few pins in so that I can stitch the second part of the French seam at um, a quarter of an inch or half a centimetre. So I put my needle back to the middle. Remember, I'm using the quarter inch foot so that I can. Start stitching, level with the snip, so it's doing the same thing here. Again, that thread just gets caught around through the hole, so just pull it back. Inch foot, you have to lift the foot over that little bit there. So then stitch level with the snip, reverse, and slip. So you can see I've snip stitched all the way along there, nice little French seam, and then that is going to get pressed towards the pocket. Mm -hmm. Press it on both sides so it's really nice and flat. There you go. So I'm just going to do the same on the other one. That's going out that way. I need this pretty fabric for my samples. It's such pretty fabric, isn't it? Hmm. Mind I bought it for samples. Yeah, I don't know if you'd wear it. No, it's pretty really good for samples. Might make a nice shirt, I guess. Pajamas, maybe? Or pajamas. They look nice as pajamas with the piping in that green. It would, wouldn't it? Hmm. I better not use it all up then. <laughs> change my mind. Okay, so I'm now going to stitch the other one. Again, starting level with the snip. All the way down. Level with the snip again and reverse and cut. Again, I'm going to press the seam towards the pocket. Did you say goodbye to Barbara? Oh no, I didn't. I Sorry, forgot. Barbara. She went to the optician. Oh, okay. I realised I think it came through at the same time as Sally's scissor sharpening. Oh no. Got distracted. Hope all goes well at the opticians, Barbara. Should probably watch it on catch up. <laughs> there we go. So that's all pressed now. So now we can do this, the next part of a French seam, which is again starting off wrong sides together. And we're going to stitch, pin this together and stitch, make sure they're going the same way, stitch around the pocket with a one centimetre seam allowance. I see what you're doing here. There you go. I see it. So simple. All making sense now. Sometimes yeah. you just see it to be. I will put a couple of pins in just to hold everything together. One centimetre seam allowance all the way around. So I'm going to move my needle back over so I can, I'm using my other, my foot, the same foot, quarter inch foot, just moving the needle over. Oh, I've got a on the bin. Maybe. I've got to sign it's the bone. I forgot to do that. So I'm going to move the needle <laughs> over. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day. Have everything organised. I should do so many things going on today, haven't I? There's been a lot. A lot going on. So you could mark where you need to turn or you can do it by eye. When you're using a quarter inch foot, sometimes when you get to that bit, you have to just lift the foot so it starts off on the fabric again. And then stitch forward. Turn and stitch around the pocket. Made a small pocket. Really good. Really good. Made a small pocket. <laughs> Mind 
before watching me sew around the pocket. <laughs> Again, when you get to that edge there with a quarter inch foot, just lift it up so that it's on top of the fabric. And then turn. Oh, make sure nothing's got caught up there. Lovely. There we go. And stitch down the last bit. Now we've got to trim this down to an eighth of an inch. And we also have to trim into the corner so that's when you need a really sharp pair of scissors to be able to trim up to your stitching at the corner there there okay so it would open up if you mm -hmm. Suzanne it. says it's easier to see if it's bigger oh there you go thanks Suzanne <laughs> and trim all the way around to about three millimeters eighth of an inch you know what this means don't you no excuse for not doing French seams anymore <laughs> Love a French seam. All the way round, down to an eighth of an inch, three millimetres, and snip in at the corner at the top as well. going to snip in to the stitching on the top corner there we go so we can now turn this right sides together push the pocket through all the way through and it's all going to sit nicely you would be pressing this obviously if you were doing this properly <laughs> at every stage and we can do the second part of our French seam. Put a few pins in. Spend a bit of time pressing it, obviously. <laughs> and we're going to put the needle back to the middle and stitch the second part of the French seam. Around the pocket. just to give it a bit of shape so you can see. Okay, so I needle back to the middle. Again, take a note of where you need to turn. Oh, Margaret's got to go and collect her dog from the groomer. Have a lovely oh, weekend, she said. Oh, thanks, Margaret. You'll, Bye, have Margaret. To, you'll have to watch Amy's cocktail on uh, catch up. <laughs> it's a good one this week. Well, it's always a good one. But it's a good one this week. So again, I'm going to have to lift the, the quarter inch foot up onto the pocket there so it will stitch forward. There we go. And turn and come down and around the pocket. You can see, let me just grab that thread out of the way. There you go, you can grab that thread. There we go, so that's the pocket or stitch with a French seam. And 
you would then open it out and press your pocket to the front because you've done a French seam it's a bit like when we do an overlocked seam um, often um, when you're doing a seam you would snip the seam allowance so you can press it open but we've done these lovely French seams so it's going to press everything towards the front lovely like that and then turn it over and there's your beautiful pocket so with that would you still under you wouldn't under stitch no, it then I think that? if you under stitch it might be a bit bulky you don't need to under stitch it the French seam I think would hold in nicely oh sorry wobbling the everything there we are that's your pocket cool can't wait go. to do that next week no excuse now on your, on your dressing gown you can do a French <laughs> seam under your pockets yeah gonna <laughs> So I hope that was helpful, everybody. Do give it a go. It's a bit like when we did um, the, the split above, a, a French seam above a split. That's a similar sort of thing, isn't it? Anything to get you all doing French seams. So, Amy's going to pop in now. I'm going to give her some space. I am. You're welcome, Jilly. I hope it was helpful. Sorry to Instagram, I know longer can yeah. see you. I'm just going to move this mat out of the oh, way. I need you to move over there now. Let me check that you're in the right spot. Let me just move this mat out of the way and grab my tea. That's it. Better? There's all this stuff in yes, the way now. It is. I'll move this all out of the way. There we go. Okay, good. We're in. So Amy's going to come in so you can see Amy's lovely ruffle dress as well now. Okay. You know you have to do a twirl. Oh, yeah. Hi. There you go, there's my ruffle, ruffle dress. dress. Do a twirl. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I'll stand back so you can see the ruffle. So it's a little bit shorter than mine, but not a lot, was it? We, we don't, yeah. Actually, we all had to lengthen it. It was quite a short dress, so if you were to make it. And also, it was um, quite short, short waisted. Short waisted. Mm. So I had to add eight centimetres into the waist, which luckily I did, because that's the waist there. So yeah. it would have been. And you want the belt to be right on the waist. And I had to move the dark down. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Doesn't it look lovely? Yeah, actually, I, might, I had to move my dart down, you had to move yours as well. Sorry, our oh, legs sorry. are crashing on the chairs. One sec. Just going to have a bit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Do a little dance down here in the chairs. Um, yes, yeah, so, so Amy had to, but all had to, to move the dart, check the waist length, and then check the actual length of the dress. So, yeah. so there's quite a bit of um, info going on. Thank you, Debbie. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, don't throw yourself on that iron. Mm -hmm. But it was worth it. It's such a lovely dress. Once you've got all those pattern alterations done, it all works, doesn't it? Yeah. And I've yeah. done I've done the pattern to do a bias a binding on the edge of the pattern, but Amy's done her binding and turned it. Yeah, in. so I stitched it right sides together at one centimetre. Thank you, Sally. Yeah, more yellow. More yellow. Yeah, I'm adding yellow to my wardrobe this mm -hmm. year. Oh, thanks, thanks Mum. <laughs> <laughs> We're um, being twinny today. Yeah, so I actually used a jersey binding on mine. And then, because um, I was worried that the polycotton binding might be a bit too it's stiff too, yeah. for this floaty viscose, so uh, I used the jersey binding. And you didn't want to make binding for me? I didn't want to make, because no. we really frayed this fabric. Mm. This was a Lady McElroy viscose that I got from Sherwood's. Mm. Um, so yeah, then I just uh, stitched it under, and I've top stitched two centimetres in all the way round, yeah. and I actually top stitched my facing down as well. Oh yes, yeah. mine's Because mine was, but mine was sort of pulling a little bit. Yeah. I think it's just the nature of this fabric. It's mm. very blue. Yeah. It looks like it's, but it means yours is a little bit lower than mine. It's not a lot though, is it? So turn, so you could turn the binding in. It wouldn't make it too much lower. Oh, apparently we go well together. Oh, thanks Janet. <laughs> <laughs> we've decided to go twinning again, like yeah. last week with our shirt dresses. Because we finished them, so we finished yeah. quick. Exactly. We actually finished. We don't often finish on the class, no. so. <laughs> yeah. There was something to do. Very I well. was doing a bit of hand stitching in, in the break between classes. Yeah. Yeah. It's so yeah, fun. I think garden party dresses. Yeah, I definitely. Think for garden party. Yeah, we really like floating about. Yeah, and I have so. decided I need to wear heels with mine though. Yeah. I'm wearing it with little white trainers at the moment, but I'm it's just a it cuts off at the wrong point. So I'm just checking my notes. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? There's, oh, there wasn't. Not really. Just no. um, uh, retreat news. Oh yes, retreat news because so Bonnie, I lovely said Bonnie, Bonnie on it, so has booked. Thank you, Sue Tim. Mm. <laughs> Uh, thanks Wendy thanks Wendy Wendy's got to finish hers unfortunately Wendy's fabric didn't turn up did it for the no. first day but she was on it the second day making yeah. an alternative fabric so um, as, yeah as I was saying the 
Couture Retreat next May is almost sold out. It is. Um, yeah. Bonnie books this morning. We only have four places left now. There are mm. still some non-residential places available, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah so I think we've got about three people that are on the precipice of booking. So if you thought you might want to book, mm -hmm. you better book. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, is our that. game. Where do we buy silk buttonhole thread? From a company called The Lining Company, Suzanne. Um, they do lots of uh, silk buttonhole thread. It comes on little tiny um, tiny reels, so you might want a couple of them for doing your buttonhole. It's only 10 metres on a reel. Uh, so yeah, The Lining Company are the best place for... Do they from Wallace not sell it? I don't know, they might do, I haven't yeah. checked. The Lining Company they do, do silk thread. Yeah, they do silk. A lot of companies do silk thread, but not many do silk buttonhole thread. So yeah, check out The Lining Company. They also do things like gimp cord and other sort of things that we use in couture sewing. Very good. Um, Wendy said, has anybody mentioned that Higgs and Higgs are selling patterns 10% off this weekend? Ooh, well, no, no we haven't. Is that haven't including the Maison Fauve one? Well, I guess so. Mm -hmm. There's a new, well not a new pattern company, but a pattern company that we've just discovered recently mm. called Maison Fauve. And we have just put an order in. Um, she, I follow her on Instagram because I spotted a design one day that was blogged about someone mm. or in a hashtag or whatever. Uh, that just looked so chic. So I followed her and she launched four new patterns this week. Yep. We've ordered one of them because it's really gorgeous and I can't wait to make it. But there's four new patterns this week, but she's got 20 or 30 patterns. Mm. Maison Fauve, F-A-U-V-E. It's a French company. Um, and then Wendy told us that Higgs and Higgs, Higgs, are, and Higgs have, have some, some of, of their patterns as well. Not yeah. all of them, but some. So it's yeah. worth having a look. Definitely worth having a look. At the moment, until the 22nd, because it's her new pattern launch. Mm. If you buy from her three of the envelope patterns, you get one PDF for free. So, um, Karen, I'll watch on replay and catch up. At least I'm uh, here for the cocktail. Yay, yeah. hi Karen. <laughs> I think Karen's just been busy doing her couture skirt homework. That's, yeah, what, that's it what it is. is. <laughs> Maison Fauve are now 16 pounds. Oh, that's good. So mm. that's brought them down to, on Higgs and Higgs, 16 pounds, because they're 16 euros from her. Yeah, and then you have to pay the uh, postage. But then you have to pay postage. But France. for us, it worked out because there were four mm. or five that we really wanted. Yeah. And one of them was available in, in PDF. So actually, we got our postage for free. Yeah, we did. Because we would have yeah. bought it anyway, that pattern. Mm. Um, they are having lots of percentage off emails like Sherwood's. Mm. Oh. Hi, oh, well. Sue. Hi, Sue. We haven't done the cocktail yet, Sue, so you're, you're all right. right. Yeah. Just in time. Higgs and Higgs have 15% off, basically, oh. Jackie says. 15, wow. Do we still have to make an appointment to visit Haberdashery? Well, actually, I'll, I'll reply to your email afterwards. I will reply to your email afterwards because because of the sew alongs, we can't really have people in shopping. So the shops probably not set up as a shop. But you can do click and collect, um, and then on seventeenth of May, yes, then we can have people coming in. But I'll, I'll reply to your email afterwards. Because it's a film studio at the moment. Yeah, it's a in, of, we're in the shop. Yeah, we're in the shop <laughs> in the middle of the shop. So <laughs> I'll reply to your email. We'll work something out, Julie. So Amy's got a really exciting cocktail. This is a good one. This is one of my favourite cocktails. This cocktail I'm sure is... I every week. But it, I know, but I <laughs> forgot about this one. I forgot about this one. And the reason I forgot about it was because one of the ingredients puts me off. And mm. I haven't had one for years because of the particular ingredient that I found a substitute. Mm, there you go. It's or exciting. I figured out a substitute. Yes. So this week we are having the 70s classic, an amaretto sour. <gasps> Yay. Yeah. So, oh, hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Thanks for joining us. For an amaretto sour, we need obviously amaretto. I use Disarono, but there are other brands available. They're all pretty much the same, to be honest. Um, you need some bourbon. So I have my Woodford Reserve bourbon again. You need some sugar syrup. Um, I actually left my sugar syrup at home today, but I did have some agave, which will work just as well. So agave syrup. You need some lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, and you need some chickpeas. Of course, you need chickpeas in your cocktail. Drained for aquafaba, <laughs> but not the actual. That's going to be later. That's going to be later. Yeah. Basically, a, a amaretto sour, whiskey sours, pisco sours. They usually have egg white in them, and we don't. Have you ever made a cocktail that's not your favourite? No, no, it's true, Wendy. They're all my favourites, really. Yeah. Alcoholics. Yes. Um, yeah, they, the sour range of drinks often have an egg white in. Mm. The only reason for that egg white is to get a really thick white foam on top and it adds a bit of body to the to the cocktail. But even, we don't actually eat eggs. No. Um, but when we did, I didn't like the thought of raw egg in my drink. I thought that was a bit odd. Yeah. So I'm sure quite a few of you know that in vegan cookery, aquafaba, which is drained chickpea water, 
um, is a substitute for egg white. And we have been playing about with aquafaba because we made things like pavlovas and all sorts of things, and it really does work well, doesn't it? Yeah, you works can make very well. You can make a meringue with it. Oh, yeah. So um, I did test it, and it works perfectly. Yes. So we're going to have really amaretto nice. sour. The thing with an amaretto sour is it's a little bit more technical. The ingredient, the measurements have to be a little bit, a little bit more precise than I'm usually like. Oh, double of that, double of that. So we're going to go through. First of all, you need 40 mils of amaretto. That's difficult, isn't it? Because person, if, your, um, if your shot's coming in 25s and 50s. Yeah, the shot, a shot measure like this is 20, is 50. So you mm. just have to, I mean, it is estimating yeah. still. You go just yeah. under, um, but it's not totally precise, but it's not a full 50. Not a full 50. So we're going to do the first part of this dry, as in no ice. So I'm obviously making two, but it's 40 mils of amaretto. Ooh. I love the smell of amaretto. Uh, I'm going to get the lid back on. Just, leave that. We'll leave that. Yeah. <laughs> it's 20 mils of bourbon. I'm going to use my short one because it's easier to measure mm. the 20. I need to do a little like sharpie measurement inside of yeah. all my little half measures. 20 mils of bourbon, 30 mils of lemon juice per person. And then one, and then... Oh, Jackie says that Amaretta always reminds her of being a horror. Did I do two of bourbon or one? Two. I did. I did one each. Okay. <laughs> I think I think cocktails in general often we have on holiday, don't we, Jackie? So, yeah, cocktails are. But amaretto. Maybe you had a good night out on amaretto when you're on holiday. Fifteen mils of aquafaba. This will or, all be written down on the YouTube channel. Yeah, later. or egg white. You can use egg white if you want to. Um, you absolutely can. There we go. And then. Uh, some sugar syrup. So you can either make your own, it needs to be a rich sugar syrup, which is two parts sugar, one part water on the hob until it disintegrates. Agave works well, or you can buy sugar syrup. Mm. So just a teaspoon, because keep in mind the amaretto is already very That's sweet. sweet yeah. yeah. Okay, there's a lot in there. Mm. You're then gonna do a dry shake without ice. Sounds really weird to have a dry shake. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that technical bar term is, yeah. is a dry shake. You need to shake it for 20 30 seconds to aqua, uh, aqua faba. activate the aqua, aqua faba. It's very good for your arms, this. It is. Mm. Yeah. Didn't put you wouldn't be able to do this with your shark. I could couldn't, do it. No, no, I couldn't do that. You'd have to make me amaretto sounds now. Yeah. No. That's fine. Maybe we could have amaretto sours at the garden party. No, <laughs> too much. No, too many like ingredients. Doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be doing this all day. No, it's not one you can do a jug off, really, is it? You no. sort of make them in ones and twos. That would be good. So you, it's going to go into sort of a custardy colour, doing its thing. Then you're going to put a bit of ice in there, shake it again, just to chill it. So just a few cubes of ice to chill it down. See, sorry. <laughs> it tastes alright. Yeah. <laughs> Shake it again. There we go. And then we we'll grab our glasses. And it's a little bit like a Guinness, this one, where you need it to settle. <laughs> I mean, it's not very good for a demo, is it? Because it's quite a long, long winded. It's like you and your large pocket. Well, yeah. <laughs> We've gone for long demos, long demos today. today. <laughs> so, you're going to pour it out. Actually, before you finish pouring it out, you need to put ice in first. That's... Sometimes with short drinks, you can put ice in second, but this one I don't want to squish the, the, the foam. The foam. Oh, look, it's separating already. Yay! Okay, and then like this, and like this. So pretty. 
I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually separated, so you've got the foam on the top. So you have a nice big white foam on top. And then, for your, oh, I left my lemon peel in the kitchen. Oh. Well, you would normally have a, a spiral of lemon peel. Oh, did you make it spiral in the kitchen? No, I just, oh. I just uh, peeled the lemon. Um, but also, what we used to do, and cherries, brandied cherries are good for an amaretto sour. Take some Angostura bitters and do three drops down the centre. So one, two, three. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I will take a photo. Jen's saying, trust me to arrive uh, just as the drinks are being served. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Uh, Amy, Amy, she's that lovely bourbon again. Now you got a bottle of this bourbon, didn't you? So you do three drops down the middle. Take a cocktail stick or something with a spike. Start at the top and run straight down the centre. Ah. Oh. And you get three little hearts in the centre of your drink. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you we'll take a picture of that yeah. so you can see it. Mind you, we'll see if you take a picture and then drink it. No, it won't go away. My, my ice, I put them on. Look at that, that's so cute. Little hearts in the middle of your drink. And then you can put some cherries and lemon tea away. Do you want a straw? Yeah. Otherwise I'm going to get a foam moustache. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That looks amazing. I love the little heart. And they sort of get bigger actually, don't they? Yeah. So we go, Amaretto Sours. Cheers, thank Cheers, you. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Marzipan. It's it so is a bit lovely. like marzipan. But the a tradition, well, not traditional, an original amaretto sour was just amaretto with a sweet and sour mix, mm. which is just a bit. This is lovely. So, this one, because it's fresh lemon juice and with the bourbon, it just cuts through mm. the sweetness of the amaretto. So, it's not all sugar and almond. No, it's really nice. You can, you can actually taste everything the lemon, the amaretto, and the bourbon. Not too much of bourbon, actually. No, it's yummy, isn't it? That's a very nice drink. So have, try that one this weekend. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, Everyone's going to be making hummus now. Mm. So if you want to make hummus, don't throw your water away. You'll be like, I know what I can do with that. Yeah, exactly. I can make an amaretto yeah. sour. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we tell Nanny, because Nanny makes a lot of hummus, doesn't she? Yeah. But that's all that is. That's just mm. the aquifer. Yeah, so that would normally be an egg white. Yeah. But I don't want raw egg in my yeah. Alice would approve. Mm. Mm. Vegan. A vegan amaretto sour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. It there is. we go. Cheers, everybody. So it's been lovely joining you this week. We've run over this week. I think we both of us doing long demos. It's been lovely to see you. Um, have a lovely weekend. Um, do lots of sewing or we'll get outside. Go to the pub. You're going yeah. to the pub. I'm going to the pub in a minute. Yeah, you've booked. I'm going to book the pub. Yeah. yeah, I've got a pub every day, all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Better get ready then. I know. We've got to go. We've got to go. Yeah, we've got to go. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Lovely to see you. Yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. Um, enjoy the sewing bee next week on Wednesday, and we'll catch up with you next Friday. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.